Hey Pisces, welcome to your January 2021 money, career, and biz reading with me, Stella Wilde. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your general money, career, and biz energies for January 2021. All right, Pisces, so let's get into your reading. We're going to start first with this deck, no reversals to get the general feel and flow of the energies for money, career, and biz. And then we will pull a sole purpose oracle card, clarify that with additional tarot and a money in the law of attraction card at the end. What you need to know is in the description if you'd like to book a private reading with me and if you would like to check out your 2021 year ahead tarot readings. So check out the description. All right, let's get into it, Pisces. You can see the assistant is very excited to be here and share her energies. Thank you, Ariel. All right, Pisces, let's see what we have for you. We got the fool and what's on the bottom? Ooh, the eight of coins, gorgeous. So some sort of new beginning in terms of your work life and also perhaps in terms of your uh, bank balance, okay, with the beautiful eight of coins in this deck, you can see the person is looking at perhaps an accounting ledger, uh, seeing perhaps more coins coming in. Fool is very nice energy though. New beginnings, new beginnings. All right, let's see what else we have. Ace of wands, gorgeous. Emperor, what is going on Pisces? 10 of coins, Ariel, did you make this happen? And the king of coins, wow. Oh my gosh, Pisces, this is amazing energy. Holy moly. Wow. This is really, this is unbelievable. So we have two Capricorn energies here. We have, of course, the king of coins. We have the 10 of coins. Both of these 10 of coins to me is always like January energy, the number 10 reduced to the number one, Capricorn. And then we have, of course, the Ace of Wands and the Emperor. Both of those are strongly Aries energies. So Ace of Wands uh, can signal some sort of yes from the universe, a fresh start, again, corroborating with the Fool energy. This is, this is freaking fantastic. And you have two very strong energies here, the King of Coins and the Emperor, of really taking charge of your financial situation and taking charge of it in a way that does suggest some sort of new beginning for you. This is really, really good. So some of you may be finally getting the green light from the universe, Ace of Wands, for some sort of, you know, like I said, new position, perhaps a promotion to boss level, since we have two very strong boss energies here. This energy is also extremely supportive, Pisces, to start your own business or take your own business to the next level by investing a bit more perhaps in, in your business, in the foundational aspect of your business, this 10 of coins. So maybe this is something to do with equipment you need, um, an office space, a retail space, you know, something, something that will lead to the foundational security of that business. So this is so, so supportive. With the Emperor here also, um, and next to the Ace of Wands, it does suggest, you know, really using some Aries, you know, Aries energy. There could be some sort of Aries in your life who is assisting you this month in particular. But um, this is really the dawn of new beginnings and also really not being afraid to initiate, to take charge, to um, implement, and also to delegate. This is another important message, I think, because both of these, like I said, is boss energy, but the emperor is even more boss energy. So bosses delegate. They don't have to do everything themselves. So those of you who have your own business or starting your own business, that's important that you may, you may be hiring somebody new uh, to help you. You may be hiring an accountant this month. Very, very possible to manage your finances. 
um, because you don't have time to do it yourself and your business may be getting to the point where it's making more money and you really need to have somebody professional handle your accounts. So that's another possibility. Remember, this is a general reading, so apply the energies to your situation. Others of you who may be manifesting some sort of new job this month, you're going to have an entirely new boss um, with this emperor energy here. Um, and th with the emperor showing up too, it does suggest that um, they like initiative. So whatever you're going into, like, I mean, don't do things that you're not supposed to do, obviously, but um, also don't be afraid to present new ideas to this new supervisor. They like that. They like that sense of initiative. This is my boss right here. <laughs> they like that sense of initiative. Um, but it is, this is fabulous. You know, now for others of you, this new beginning with the fool here may involve the sale of some real estate, putting your house on the market or trying to get a deal done for, um, you know, to buy a new place. I think what's interesting with the Aries energy popping up, it may be that this, whatever's going on with your real estate matter, yes, you initiate something this month, but the full culmination of it may not happen until the spring. So it could happen as soon as we get into Aries season, like toward the end of March, beginning of April. So that's just something to keep in mind. Again, it's general, that may not apply to everyone, but I feel you make a big decision this month, Pisces. Some of you in regards to, like I said, taking charge of some sort of family security real estate matter uh, in Capricorn season. Um, and there could be levels of financing involved, like securing the financing. And then it's like, once you have the financing, financing in place, you know, you get the yes from the universe, the ace of wands, then you can make the emperor, make it happen to get that new place. So, but this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful energy to use this month, Pisces, to initiate some sort of bold, fresh action in your financial life of however this applies to you. So gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous energy. So yeah, I mean, from what I can tell from that first bit of energy, Pisces, it really is not just about sitting back and just letting whatever happen, happen. It is really the time to initiate in January. And if it were me, if I, when I was going to initiate, I would make it right after that new moon in Capricorn. So the 14th, 15th, 16th, right in that time frame, um, there Uranus does go direct in your third house. If you have Pisces rising, um, on the 14th. So you may find things start to speed up in terms of daily communications, connecting with people, etc. around the middle of the month, particularly if you've been trying to manifest some sort of new opportunity and you've been waiting to hear news about that. Okay. So, all right, let's see what else we have. We're going to dive in with this deck, but I mean, it's a yes from the universe. Something is you're going to be saying yes to that thumbs up ace of wands energy beautiful and with the ten of coins there is there does seem to be you know the energy that supports greater financial security for you all right we have nutrition that popped out you conduct healing work with your culinary skills Okay, so this is that's very interesting so some of you watching this that may be true maybe you work in um you know, as a chef or you help you counsel people with their nutrition, uh, that type of thing. Um, but this also to me, we're going to work with it also as a metaphor, you know, um, what type of thoughts are you nurturing yourself with in the month ahead in regards to your prosperity and your abundance? Okay, so let's see what else we have. Let's dive in with that. You know. Okay. Okay, healing work. What thoughts and beliefs are you feeding yourself to manifest your wildest dreams? All right, we got the tower. So that's when Uranus goes direct. 
And we have the five of wands. Okay, so this signals that there is some sort of breakthrough imminent in getting a plan together, getting a plan in motion. You can see the five of wands. They're all over the place, these people. Um, and the tower could bring some sort of surprising situation that you need to take control of. Remember, we had the emperor before. So again, since we're asking about this idea, you know, what are you feeding yourself in terms of your thoughts? It is time, like I said, this is affirming, it is time for you to take charge of a situation, particularly at mid-month. Um, and I would start preparing for that. You guys know what situation in terms of your money, career, and business needs to kind of uh, move forward. All right, you know what you've been trying to manifest. So it does seem, again, middle of the month, Uranus going direct, that there will be an opportunity from the universe that may come out of the blue where you're going to have to step up, Pisces. So prepare yourself mentally with positive thoughts and affirmations, you know, what you're feeding yourself for the first two weeks of January so that when this manifests, you're ready to go. You are ready to take charge. So let's see what else we have. Yep, Leo, Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups. So what this suggests to me is that feed yourself the thoughts that will strengthen you. Strengthen your resolve is what I'm feeling. To finally release a burden. That's what it seems to be going on here with this Nine of Cups next to this Ten of Wands. So, you know, but it's interesting too. This is another number one. Also, we have the Leo energy here. There is a Leo full moon happening on January 28th. So what this suggests to me is that something that gives you an opportunity to take charge in the middle of the month has the potential to manifest in you at that Leo full moon releasing a burden, releasing an obligation that has weighed you down in some way, whatever this Nine of Cups wish card represents for you. So this can relate to some sort of home matter as we discussed with the energies in the first part of the reading, especially with the Ten of Coins um, and the King of Coins here, that you maybe you have the opportunity to finally get a plan together to sell the house, to close that on the house, to, to, you know, release the burden of some sort of financial obligation that is no longer aligned really with your heart, the strength energy here, the Leo energy, and what you truly desire for the next phase of your life. And it's interesting too, because Pisces, we go from the ace you know, to the 10, we had the ace. So you're wrapping up an energetic cycle. This yes from the universe that comes helps you get the plan in motion to release this 10 of wands energy. And this 10 of wands energy really has kind of tripped you up. You have not been able to see more clearly. You see this, this person's head is buried in these wands. Like you cannot, you haven't been able to see your future clearly because of this. So now the opportunity is coming though for you to see your future very clearly because this is going to be removed. So feed yourself the thoughts of releasing this, that you're ready to release it, that you take charge of releasing it when the opportunity comes, that you're ready to say yes to the universe and let that go so that what your heart truly desires can manifest. Okay, because this, this is beautiful. This strength and the nine of cups is excellent, gorgeous energy. So I love this for you. This is all very, very positive, very positive energy. And you know, it's a big month. We have the fool, we have the emperor, we have the tower, and we have strength. So there's a lot of major arcanas coming out. So this is a big a big turning point and it is important for you I feel to kind of just mentally psych yourself up for striking while the iron is hot so to speak when this 
goes on, when it goes down. So you may need <laughs> nutrition. What are you feeding yourself? You may need to feed yourself a little pep talk, okay, Pisces? Maybe watch this video a couple of times. Um, and get ready for some exciting changes that you have been wanting to manifest. Um, but prepare, prepare the ground, so to speak. Um, because you have been kind of caught up in this. All right? So, you know, and sometimes this to me is a sometimes really rut, R-U-T, rut energy. Like, just feeling so stuck in something that you can't, like, extricate yourself. Um, and then our mind gets in a rut like that and it becomes harder to see potentials and, you know, possibilities for our life. But it's time to realize that that's going and, you know, start writing some positive affirmations that that has already been released from your life. All right, let's pull a money and the law of attraction for you. This is excellent. This is quite the reading to start January with Pisces. This is really good. All right, let's see what else we have. So in this case, you know, sometimes people get nervous about the tower, you know. But I think really in this regard, the tower is going to help extricate you from a situation. But you do have to take the chance when it's offered to you. I mean, do what you want. But I mean, use the energy, like I always say. You know, I do feel the universe is going to present you with, with something to decide and take action on especially around the middle of the month. So All right. Let's see what else we have for you. Whoa. Okay, that one's like flipping, so we'll take this one. All right. I can pivot from feeling bad to feeling good. <laughs> okay, yes, you can. As you look for a better feeling way to approach whatever you are giving your attention to, as you continue to ask yourself from your ever-changing vantage point, what is it that I do want? Eventually, you will be standing in a very pleasing place, for you cannot continually ask yourself what it is that you do want without your point of attraction beginning to pivot in that direction. The process will be gradual. Well, I think the tower is gonna <laughs> make it not so gradual. The process will be gradual, but your continued application of the process will yield wonderful results in only a few days. I'm not making that up. That's exactly what it says. So this, I mean, this is so much aligned with, again, the thoughts you are feeding yourself, that you are looking for a better feeling way to pivot away from this. This has kept you stuck. So burden released, pivoting, asking yourself totally focused on what do you want. That's your point of attraction. Not the old, more the same old, same old tiredness, fatigue, no time to do what you want, run down, carrying so much work and burden on your shoulders. Okay. Pivot in the direction that you want to go, Pisces. You are free. Leave me a comment. Let me know, Pisces, what is going on for you with this energy. I am very excited about this reading for you. So I cannot wait to hear what's going on for you. That's it for me. I love you guys. I wish you all the best. I will see you again soon in your general reading video for January. There's another one coming, so stay tuned for that. Pisces, take care. I'll see you again soon. Stella Wilde, signing out.